Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Beyond Earth Rising Tide. We just got out of a war with Kozlov here, which uh, was going very well for us. We could have finished him off, but I decided against it in, t in favor of uh, getting some tech that'll get us closer to victory, which we were able to buy a really, really, really expensive tech off of him. So that's hopefully going to help. And besides, next time we can just go straight for his capital. We can go for the throat. And uh, we should be able to take, like, virtually everything from him anyway. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's uh, flip over to the next turn. And we'll uh, start getting some orbital coverage around uh, the Kytheran Protectorate here. And uh, we will be very, very sad. We will indeed be very, very sad. Because we're going to lose so much money on this war. If you replicate the neurological activity of an individual on a computer, for all intents and purposes, the computer is that individual. All right. If you Nothing see creepy about that? Disease, aging, and senescence, and you experience any emotion other than revulsion, then you are held captive by romance and must emancipate your own thinking before you can help your fellow humans. Alrighty. Spy satellite up. What do we want to research next, folks? What would we like to research? Well, since we're going to lose so much uh, money off of this, I think we'll... Uh, doing this will be a solid bet. I'd like bioengineering eventually. But for now, I think we can do that. Ah, for the city. What shall we do with you? We'll build the Emancipation Gate somewhere. Somewhere useful. About right here. <laughs> He's like, go fuck yourself. <clears throat> so they both do not like that at all. They do not like the fact that I'm starting to build a wonder, especially a wonder that's going to Earth to invade it. So, yeah. But that's too fucking bad for them. So these guys have 48 health. So honestly, I think that sending like massive quantities of those guys in would be eh, not too bad of an idea. I'll have to... What I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to purchase an angel. I'm going to see what an angel is capable of here. Angels have insane amounts of health. Good. All right, well, first off, we have this. See what we can do with this. So we're trying to get into KP territory here. Hmm? What is the most optimal way of doing that? Well, here's a start. All right. 
is a good start at that. Go ahead and let's launch our phasal transporter. We'll put it here. That way we can get a couple of units on the ground. Now what's problematic is they might be able to shoot that thing down, which is... Like I said, it's problematic. The good news is, is these two tiles are not covered by anything. Any sort of territory there, so they can't lay claim to that territory. Um... Well, I'm going to start purchasing artillery, because our artillery looks like it's exceptional in this, uh, with this affinity. So we're going to start burning through our war chest. I'll purchase another angel over here as well. And we'll start beaming things over to their territory. I think for the comm relay, we'll actually just maybe try to boost our signal, boost our borders. Look at that. It is actually a legitimate strategy to just boost your borders because you get a radius of, well, excluding the tile that's there, one, two, three, four, five. Pretty good, actually. I'd cover the entire planet with those things. Go ahead and let's beam this guy over. We want some artillery-ish boats over there as well. We definitely need lots of those. I'm going to move this guy not to there, but I'm going to move him over. One thing I can probably get rid of is this. This is no longer required and it's just going to eat up resources. Alright, let's uh, turn... We'll start the timer yet again. Maestro is damaged by Manticore, okay. Might as well continue moving that city, it's what we built it for. Same with this one.
build an angel there. I'm surprised it only takes 10 turns. What happens if we try to build an angel here? 15 turns, that's actually not terrible. Uh, she has 36 strength. So once we get the Emancipation Gate, guys, we'll only be able to send in one unit per turn. I believe that's how it works. So I'd like to send in a stronger unit if possible. Can we move stuff? Can. I may try something new here, folks. I may actually try allying with the Tuma, which is a deal with the devil, but it could make things more interesting, potentially. Get that angel warped in. This other angel warped in. If we can, I'd like to beam in an ambassador as well. We can do that. Who is Mr. Hatuma at war with, I wonder? What do you want, Yabo? Sanctioned by these two. It's actually very close with her. He's not. Namaste. Yeah, he's not what a big fan want, of me Yabo? right now. In order to be allied with him, we need a little bit more fear. Or more, a lot more respect. Well, uh, we can at least work about? on... over as well. Can we fit it in? Yes, we can. Gonna need a lot more patrol boats. We're probably also gonna need some uh, cavalry of some sort here. So I should probably purchase either auto sleds or um, whatever our tanks are. Maestros. Yep. Build one of those just for fun.
Fatuma has completed the Exodus. Alright, ah, uh, fuck, fuck. Well, looks like he's next on the shit list. He would actually be a much easier target, just for the record, folks. He's got so many floating cities and, well, those would not last long against me whatsoever. Assuming his forces don't completely outnumber mine. Get a free tech. Go into the tech tree and... Go find a free technology, guys. None of them are good! Oh. Come on, I want an expensive one. Come on. Here we go. Here. How far can these guys shoot? They can only shoot within a one square tile. Okay. All right, Mr. Hatuma. What do you want, Yabo? Hmm. For you. Namaste. Let's go ahead and sanction her. Alright, so next turn we're going to war with KP. See how this goes.
life is an inherently... We got a new upgrade? Mortals! Yay! A unit that I don't care about. Guy on over to KP country here. Yep, we're going to war. Thing's still repairing its units. Let's be more stuff over. See just how bloody this ends up being. Oh, and we're going to have so many of these things to reassign that's going to be kind of irritating. Gonna send them all to Jimbula for now. Hmm, this is interesting. Timer is going off, but I think we should give it a little bit more time here. Flip the turnover, let's see what happens next.
Well, we lost three units immediately. Okay. I'm curious about our war score situation here. I mean, that's clearly going to change very quickly, but... Take a look. Take a look. If we were to make peace with her right now... So, we've barely begun, but... She's, uh... Yeah, we're in a slight lead so far. But we've barely begun to fight. You're immortal. I guess those guys are fairly good after all. These sneaky little devils have snuck in and decided to be annoying. He was killed down there. He was killed in the heart of their land. Big surprise. And this guy was killed over here. No real shocks there. Let's see. Be able to absolutely demolish this city without too much trouble. Yep. Down it goes. Down this city goes. You know what, for now, sure, let's get into Kozlov's good graces here. How's that impact my respect? Can we change our relationship? There we go. Probably am. Probably making a mistake by trusting them, but also don't care. We'll build a trade depot there eventually. Heal these boys all up. Alright, we took out their satellite. And we'll uh, commence assault on Mandrea. Unfortunately, we have to be right next to it with our angels. But our angels can do punishing amounts. I said our angels can do punishing amounts of damage. Clearly they can't. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. No, that's, uh, too dangerous. Bring our shroud into position here. Beam this guy over as well. Let's see what we can attack here. What can we deal with? Well, we can bring this uh, shroud in here. Start bombarding. Start bombarding that city. Move our boats up here.
now that this thing has taken, now that their Poseidon or whatever it's called has taken some damage, we can take down their battleship with fighters relatively effectively. And I think this is as good a place as any to uh, throw down a cut, guys. So thank you so much for been watching this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, please uh, follow, uh, I mean, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.